channel i'm carlos harris and if you're a subscriber thanks for always tuning in turn on the notification so you get a notification every time i post because i'm trying to drop these vlogs at least once or twice a week now um, to give you guys some consistency and more insight on my life today's going to be a monday with me training going through like my workflow and things of that sort so you get a more detailed insight on what i do on my mondays to get my week started off on the right foot i believe mondays are the best days of the week i know a lot of people probably don't like Mondays, but I feel like when I started working for myself, I started to embrace Mondays a lot more because one, it's it sets the tone for the week. Um, if you start off great on Monday, you typically have a great week. Um, you might run into some obstacles and stuff, but that forward momentum that you get by starting off the week um, on a great note is something uh, that I really take pride in. I'm probably dropping this during the middle of the week but you guys can implement this into your next week's routine or just continue the momentum that you already have if you already had like a great week or whatever it is so let me know how your week is going down below in the comments i really appreciate the feedback and stuff that you guys gave um on the previous post when i kind of did a check-in to see where, where you guys were at um mentally some people were going through some stuff and again i'm pushing for you guys to continuously um, get through those situations and get better and better every single day Nothing happens overnight, um, but today, let me roll into my day. I got training at 12 o'clock. It is 8.01 right now. Just been up going through my morning routine. I'm actually about to do my yoga, go on my walk, um, and then I'm gonna unbox the, um, the new gloves and stuff that I got for training. Uh, my 10 ounce gloves came in, and I have a 16 ounce glove coming in as well. But yeah, I'm excited, man, if you guys can't tell. Um, Today's just a, a great day. It's beautiful outside. Can't really, can't wait to get outside and just take a walk, get some fresh air. But I'm about to jump into my yoga um, and then we'll take a walk. take my walk it's like 61 degrees outside so I'm just throwing a, a t-shirt uh, some sweats head out the door I'm actually gonna take my uh, five-minute journal with me to journal out there um, outside just get some fresh air and stuff but the yoga practice was good today um, it was focused on gaze and if you don't know what gaze is it's just like where you're gazing at where you're looking during the practice and also focusing on the movements there was some core engagement obviously with all like yoga practices there's some type of like core engagement, but the yoga that I do is yoga with Adrian. You guys should try her 30 day challenge that she has. It's called a center challenge where she takes you through 30 days of yoga. She also has beginner um, kind of videos and all that great stuff. But yeah, I'm about to head outside. It is 841. So got some good timing and stuff going because um, after that, I'm probably going to jump into a little bit of work that I have to do. Maybe get like a small snack because again, I don't like eating before my workouts too much just because like, I don't want to have anything heavy on me, um, kind of weighing me down. Might do some fruit or something like that, but let's jump on this walk. All right, so I'm out here on this walk. Beautiful day. Sun busting. Um, I checked my phone before I actually left the house and I got booked for a speaking engagement in New York later this month. Um, so that's a really cool opportunity. 
Uh, it's always cool to do speaking engagements because I feel like I get to express a lot more of my like process and kind of journey that I took to get to where I'm at today. So uh, that's going to be a really cool opportunity um, to be a part of and take you guys along with me whenever I do that later this month. But that just goes to show you, like post your content. Um, you never know who's watching the person that actually booked me for it follows me on Instagram. I've got multiple deals like that from people just following me that work for companies and things of that sort. Um, so I always just post the content that I want to post and um, put it out no matter what the numbers are. Because I think a lot of people get caught up in numbers um, nowadays, wanting to see like the stuff go viral and things of that sort. Bro, just post what you want to post. Um, if your stuff is good and it has value, people are going to gravitate towards it. There's no magic formula that's going to make you successful on social media and stuff like that. And we're living this world where everyone's just like chasing the numbers, the numbers, the numbers. Just post. When it's your time, it's your time. If you're putting out the valuable content that people want to see, I mean, it's relatable. I mean, you can connect with your audience. That's all that matters. It's not about the perfect edit and all of these great things. Just shoot, post, get better every single time that you create a video it will get better and better every time. Don't put too much pressure on yourself of, oh, I wanna start a YouTube channel or, oh, I wanna start Instagram, but I need this camera, I need that. We all started somewhere and trust me, my first vlog sucked. They've gotten better. All you do is challenge yourself to get better every single time. But um, yeah, just keep that in mind to keep going, stay focused. The opportunities will present themselves and when they present themselves, be prepared for it. I talked about that on Twitter. The preparation is getting up every day with the daily habits that you have. You know, coming outside, taking your walks, taking your self cares, um, going through your to-do list, getting those things done. Um, it's just really important uh, to take that time to be prepared at any moment. On these walks, I um, typically leave my phone at home like I did today and just take time for yourself. Enjoy the beauty of the world. Um, it's such a nice day outside of the green you can see coming into the, the trees and stuff like that just go sit by the water and uh, just gonna write down what I'm grateful for hope you guys do the same I just want to give you guys that little like message or token or something like that kind of what was going through my head about that opportunity but yeah I'm gonna uh, go over here and get my journaling done <laughs> up my journaling um, the great thing about this five minute journal is one every day you write down uh, I am grateful for and then what will make today great and then a daily affirmation and at the end of the night um, you have the highlights of the day and what did you learn today so it honestly just takes you through how you're feeling what you're grateful for if you were able to knock out the things that you needed to do during the day um, and kind of just keep track of where you're at I think um, a journal is really great for just your your daily mood and tracking that to see where your mental health is at because you can go back and look at these things later on and see like okay during the week like I was damn these fools just want to you know roll over while I'm speaking whatever um, but kind of see where you were at during the week and keep that progress because I've seen myself to where I've had, I've had great weeks and sometimes like I've had really bad weeks and I was able to see that by going back and looking in my journal to kind of see where my thoughts and stuff were. So, yeah, it's always good to, to just journal things, take a couple of minutes um, out of your day to do that. It doesn't take much. You don't need this journal to actually write down the things you're grateful for. This just has like little categories and Chrissy and Dante actually gifted me this um, on the Hawaii trip. So I've just been using it. My girlfriend's been a lot more consistent in it um, than I have uh, as far as getting everything done every single day. Sometimes I write in my regular journal. But um, yeah, I'm gonna head back to the house and basically jump on some emails and stuff and probably grab a snack and get this day started. When you call the northern home, you can build your city and call it home. When I was lost, you know my. 
right, so I definitely lied. I'm about to cook me a piece of salmon and eat some fruit because I'm low key, <laughs> low on energy, and I'm not gonna go into a training session with no energy doing boxing. The great thing is, bro, invest in an air fryer, okay? I know a lot of y'all be cooking on the stove and stuff like that, but this air fryer is the truth. Um, this was gifted to me, and it literally sat um, in the box for probably like three, four months, probably a little bit longer than that, before I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and try this out, because I'm going to cook the salmon out here, uh, temp 400 for about like 13, 14 minutes, click it, let it do it, let it do its thing, and you don't got to do nothing. I actually need to add some butter to this, hold on. All right, and that, that on there, and put that on there. All right. Now we good to go. Place that thing in there. Boom. It automatically started anyways. But yeah, get yourself an air fryer. I'm telling you now. Um, I probably got. I'm gonna link it on my Amazon list if y'all want to check it out. But it's a lot of different options out there. And they say it's supposed to be healthier to cook your food um, in the air fryer. I don't know if that's true or not. But all I know is. I don't gotta be washing hella dishes, and that's the best part about it for me. I can turn it on, and go do my thing. I got out of the city, made my own. So it's 10.23, I'm probably not gonna be able to do no type of emails, I'm probably gonna do emails in the car because it takes me about 35 to 40 minutes because over here on the East Coast from Jersey just to drive into the city and it's only like four or five miles, takes 40 minutes. So I gotta leave my house at like 11 o'clock. So I don't have that much time to get anything done. Had to grab a little coffee. And now I'm gonna show you guys these gloves. So my boy Chris recommended that I get a 10 ounce glove and also a 16 ounce glove. My 16 ounce gloves will be in tomorrow, um, but I'm gonna train in these today because the other ones that I have, them hose is just worn out to be completely honest. These are um, called Reeves. They're from Mexico. I tried them on yesterday. They feel great, not gonna cap. Only thing is I can't put them on by myself. The other ones I have like the little strap and stuff on, uh, which those would be on the 16 ounce, uh, but these have to be tied up. So I'll be putting these on when I go to train, but I'm feeling like I'm gonna be, Bah, bah, today. I've been working on my jab and stuff in the mirror. I low-key want to get one of those little uh, things that goes in between the doors that you can punch. Um, I forgot what it's called, but I've seen a whole bunch of ads on it a long time ago. I want to just get those um, for the house whenever I just want to do uh, things in the house. And one thing I was uh, laughing about with my friend Kevin, bro, when you get into like boxing and stuff like that, you find yourself just going all the time, bro, just walking around um, doing dumb shit. But yeah, it's... 1025. I'm going to attempt to probably get some emails done real quick, respond to a couple of things that I need to. Um, if I don't get to, oh well, I'll just head out and head to training and I'll see you guys over there. All right, so I made it out here on time. I'm waiting on my boy, Jonathan. He's gonna be rolling with me to training because he's gonna do some behind the scenes for you guys because I can't just set up my tripod because we move around too much. Um, and also get some photography for me to kind of just post on my photo dumps and give some updates on progress on stuff that I'm doing. So waiting on an Uber to get here and then we're gonna head to the city. Like I said, it takes like 35, 40 minutes. So I'm gonna jump on a couple of emails, catch up on some texts and then I'll see you guys over there. I work hard every motherfucking day, yeah, yeah, yeah. I work hard, I work hard every day, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But today is my day, it's my day. And no matter what they say, it's my day. La 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 la. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the body shot.
tired of this. Used to be like who that I don't know, I don't know. Now they know my name wherever I go. Used to think that's what I wanted, but now just don't know. No, I can't fuck with that. Oh, I just got this shit for the fuck. Yeah, but you just got to do it. Yeah, but you just got to do it. But that's okay. That's all right. You work all the time. What we got? Thursday or Thursday? Thursday. All right, we're back at the crib. It is 1.42. That was a great training session. Um, that is something that I'm doing to challenge myself to get into something new. As we all know, I play sports in college and boxing is just another mental and physical challenge. Um, that's something that I want to challenge you guys to do is to step outside your comfort zone, challenge yourself to do something new, whether it's learning a new language, um, learning a new skill, whatever it is, challenge yourself to continuously get better at a whole bunch of different things. I was watching a YouTube video and it talked about like the mindless stuff that we do while just like sitting on the toilet or just sitting around scrolling, uh, you know, for 10, 20 minutes. If you put 10 to 20 minutes into something um, else, like learning a new language or something like that each day, you could progress towards actually achieving something that's valuable towards your life versus you know just bullshit that you're just scrolling and looking at. So keep that in mind um, whenever you're on your phone. Kind of keep track of how much time you spend on social media. If it's really not educational, don't spend too much time on it. Um, entertainment is great. Obviously people sit down and wanna watch things like YouTube videos, but you also wanna be able to gain something from it um, and actually um, add it to your life. But today was great. Um, Monday has been a great day so far. I took care of some emails. I'm about to um, shower, jump and do some work, but that's kind of like my Monday routine of going through, getting my stuff done in the morning, going to train, and then obviously doing work that I'm doing now. Um, and I'm probably just gonna end the vlog here because the rest of the stuff is just gonna be B-roll of me at the computer or something like that. But uh, hopefully this motivates you guys to get after it every single day um, and just push yourselves to be the best version that you can possibly be. And don't forget, we are giving away a MacBook Pro 13 inch. I'm giving this away on the video that you see here in the corner. Go to that video and watch that video to learn how to enter. I'm announcing the giveaway winner on June 11th. So I have a vlog here on YouTube. Make sure you look at the directions. Don't fall for any scams in the comments. Um, I'll be contacting you guys uh, probably by email and you'll see my email on that video. Um, that it'll come from. So yeah, make sure that you guys enter. Appreciate all the love and support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.